project series for gel press. If you saw part one you will have seen me making these grungy but still pretty prints. I wanted to keep it really pretty. This is the first pull and here's the second pull. So there's always less on the second pull but I've got coordinating papers. And then I did one in greens and blues. So there's the first pull and there's the second pull. A little bit more empty but coordinating. And the first thing I'm going to do to turn these papers into a project is cut some shapes, simple shapes, hearts and stars using some Sizzix dies with my Big Shot and I'm going to cut those out of the papers and also out of some mount board, picture framing mount board. When you've cut those out you can stick the paper to the mount board piece, Just stick the papers to the shapes with a touch of glue but then I think they need edging with a bit of oops with a bit of ink. Could be any ink. I'm using distress ink. First of all, I'm going to use some red because there's red in my background. But then I would also just go around with I'm using a bit of walnut stain. It just keeps in with that kind of shabby chic feel. So I'm going to trim this into three. Things often work well in groups of three. And I think now I'm going to I'm going to add these to some mount board as well and just trim around those edges so it make a nice little sturdy piece of art. And now I've got my three working panels. I've just picked out some matching ink pads. I'm going to do a little bit of stamping. black for this kind of depth and contrast. And I'm going to do a little bit of doodling with a white pen. Now a little bit more colour with some distress cranes or oil pastels, gelatos, anything anything like that. Now adding these numbers but I've put those together so that when I separate them there's still something kind of joining them together. I'm going to add some little top touches with um, some carbon black and some metallic gold. I've dug out some um, junk bits for stamping. <laughs> I'm done, larger scale, using exactly the same technique. So that was a grungy background. I've done some white doodling, bits of stamping, junk stamping. I've added a star in exactly the same way. So that's how you could use your pages on a bigger scale. But this is the second print I pulled off when I was gel press printing. So I know that it coordinates with these stars because it's from the exact same um, printing process. And I think I'm going to put those on there. Sorry. 